We acknowledge and respect the Bangala people as the traditional custodians of the land we meet here upon today. We acknowledge the deep feeling of attachment and relationships of Bangala people from the country to the sea. This video is being filmed on Bangala land. Hello and welcome back to my cooking channel. I still can't cook. Emily can though, she's a good cook. But today, in dedication yes. of an icon meatloaf dying, we're gonna cook some meatloaf. We've both never had meatloaf, we've both never made meatloaf. It's not a very Australian thing, I don't think. But in American film, like in TV, you hear it all the time. Oh no, not meatloaf again. I automatically think this is gonna be shit. I think it's gonna be like okay, but not something gonna be like, mmm, I'll have that again. So we pulled up the first <laughs> recipe, the most generic, I'm assuming. And we have our ingredients here. We're gonna make meatloaf. So, we are going to preheat the oven, which is already happening. We have a roast in the oven. We're basically preparing for if this is shit, we have a lamb roast. I reckon I will like it. I reckon she's not gonna like it. Okay, so we have to make the glaze first. All right. There's a glaze. There's a glaze. Wicked! Half a cup of tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Um, two tablespoons of cider vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Why would I like that? Because you don't like tomatoes. I like tomato sauce. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you have cups, measuring cups? Maybe. We'll find out. I do somewhere. Oh, here's them. There's another one. Oh, I've got to get the cider vinegar. So I got apple cider vinegar because apparently it makes it taste better. Fuck no. Slap her in then? Yep, slap her in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, then we need two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Oh, here. No thanks. Smell it. No thanks. Smell it. Still no. That looks like grandma's about to force me to have medication. That's what it looks like. Spoon <laughs> full of sugar. Oops. All right, that should it. be enough. I knew it. I fucking hate cooking. I am impatient. We've got our other mixing bowl and in that, we need to place breadcrumbs, grate onion, mix, add ingredients. Ah, oh, so you just chuck everything, you literally just chuck fucking everything together, aren't you? Oops. Keep oh. I was trying to avoid exactly that. I didn't want it to go on the floor. One cup of breadcrumbs. We need to dice the onion. Grate the onion. Oh, fuck it, we're dicing it. Oh, fuck it. I can't fucking be fucked. Right in here, onion. What? We've cut that off, then it bleeds. Oh well. No, because then it makes you cry. I'll cut the onion. I'll just, I'll cut the onion. Okay. You can be the dancer. Every kitchen needs a good dancer, just like Rowan Ramsey. No. What's his name? Gordon Ramsey? Gordon Ramsey. Who's Rowan Ramsey? Rowan Ramsey. Isn't that the premier of the state? And you cut an onion. Cut it like that. Okay. And then. Why is this bendy? I can't use this. I don't like that, but don't cut all the way to the end. Because once you cut that, it will bleed, and that's what makes you cry. It just dices itself. Cut your cooking time in half. Put that in with these, and then we mix thoroughly. One kilo of mince, two eggs, three cloves of garlic. But I've got minced garlic. Oh, I've minced garlic, yeah. Minced garlic is... Crack your eggs in. You would have got to trust me to crack the eggs. Of course I am, Kiara. I have so much faith in you. There's a shell right there. Oh no. One teaspoon of... I've grown to like Worcestershire sauce. Guess what? Some chopped parsley. Oh dear, didn't get none of that. Do you have any parsley? No. Oh, yeah, you have nothing green. So, I don't have parsley or basil, so I've just got some thyme. I'm just going to chop that up. Do you know what? It's green. We need one teaspoon of thyme. Oh. Okay, well, we've done that already. All right, and then we mix with our hands. Hands? Yep. Right, some sage in, some paprika. First, I will open the paprika. Yeah, I got your present. Oh, you are so sweet sometimes. I also got me some because it's not fair there for you as well. No, <laughs> and some Dijon mustard because I've read in others that I put Dijon mustard in, so I thought, well, that must be a thing. So I bought a loaf pan as well over there, and then apparently we're just banging in that, cook it for 50 minutes, and then it's done. And then we glaze it, and then put it back in for a little bit. 
Oh, oh dear. Listen, that doesn't smell bad. Greased pan. And then we just smack it in. Meat loaf. Oven. See you soon. Yes. We'll see you in 50 minutes. I feel like, I mean, the, the glaze has tomato sauce in it, but I like rissoles in that with tomato sauce. So Ooh. not too sure if I'm gonna like it initially. So this is what it looks like. Look, it doesn't actually look that bad. It doesn't smell bad either. It smells good. Are we ready? I'm not. I'm so scared. Mmm. Right. It just tastes like a big rissol. Oh, it's delicious. Again, I, I think with everything I need some tomato sauce, but I do yeah, 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 tomato sauce. Oh, God, God. I thought we put it for a bath. What? Put it back about for a bath. You're going for a bath? But, <laughs> I don't know the tomato sauce and put it in the bath. Oh, you want me to put tomato sauce in your mouth? Tiara, this is nice! <laughs> yeah? I'm gonna give it what a What the fuck? This is delicious. Look, I don't hate it. Mm. It just tastes like a rissole. Mm. I want mashed potato with it. I think that would be. Mm. Mm. Yep, good job, Bob. That's delicious. Maybe some grated carrot as well. Yep, zucchini. 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 Celery. That's what I wanted to say.